Hey guys, Dave here with a multi-tiered plant, wild edible, noxious plant, wild medicinal. This and this are jack in the pulpit. Now for the most part, they fall under the noxious plant category. These plants are full of calcium oxalate, they cause severe discomfort, sometimes even death. They are only to be used by someone who really, really knows what they're doing. So for the most part, most people, noxious plant, don't eat it, don't bother with it, just admire how nice it looks. Uh, now, as a wild edible, um, the the root of the plant is a is a bulb if that bulb is cut into thin slices and dried properly and i believe cooked at a very very low heat it can be used to make a a drink that's really really similar to, to hot cocoa or hot chocolate it's in, in North America, it's probably the only thing that, that tastes like chocolate. So, but you really got to know what you're doing. If you're going to try, research it as much as you possibly can. Because if done wrong, this stuff can kill you. Uh, also, and I'm not 100% sure on how to prepare it properly for its medicinal use. Uh, Native Americans and Native Canadians used Jack in the Pulpit uh, as a means of contraception. Um, in low doses, it can prevent a woman from becoming pregnant, um, whereas in higher doses, it is said to cause permanent sterility. Um, me, myself, I'm not 100% sure on that, and I don't know the, the, the proper way to prepare it for something like that, but that's what it was used for. So, um, a, a really interesting plant, very, very nice to look at. If you know what you, you're doing very specifically, you can make hot chocolate with it, uh, but otherwise, you know, just avoid it, admire it, but don't eat it. So... There you have it.